Welcome to a reflection on the gospel for the third Sunday in Easter. Easter is not just one day. It really is a season. And throughout this season, I've been amazed at how much these stories of resurrection speak to our time in a pandemic. This week's gospel is the road to Emmaus. Cleopas and her unnamed disciple are walking the seven miles from Jerusalem to Emmaus. When someone is unnamed in a gospel story, it is meant to represent the reader. You and I are the unnamed disciple. As they walked along, talking about all these things that had happened, the risen Jesus joins them, but they don't know it's Jesus. He asks them what they are discussing, and they stand still, looking sad. Cleopas says, are you the only one who does not know what has happened in these days? Then they tell him about the crucifixion, the death, the empty tomb, and how confusing it all is. If Jesus were to ask us that question right now, what are you talking about? We would tell him all about COVID-19. We would tell him about loved ones getting sick, some of them dying alone in hospitals, about the courage of doctors and nurses and hospital staff, about sheltering at home to keep the virus from spreading, about the millions of jobs lost and the chaos at the top levels of our government. After Cleopas and the unnamed disciple answer Jesus' question, Jesus speaks. He reminds them of the scripture passages about suffering and entering into glory. In our time and in our place, what scripture verses do you think Jesus would interpret for us now? Maybe they would be these, Psalm 4. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. Or Psalm 23. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Be my strong rock a castle to keep me safe. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Or Psalm 91, you shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday, because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. As they continue to walk, evening draws near, and Cleopas and the other disciple convince the one that they still don't recognize as Jesus to stay with them. They finally recognize him as Jesus when he takes bread, blesses it, and breaks it. Gospel writer Luke describes what happens. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished from their sight. You know, there are some scripture scholars who really know their Koine Greek, which is the language that the Gospels are written in, who say this is not the best interpretation into English. They say the original is not, and he vanished from their sight. They say the meaning in the original Greek is, and he disappeared among them. He disappeared among them. The risen Jesus was still there, still present, but unseen. Cleopas and the other disciples say, were not our hearts burning within us as he was talking to us on the road while he was opening the scriptures to us? At the core of our faith is the continued presence of the crucified and risen Jesus, disappeared among us in the form of the Holy Spirit. Every time we go back and read those Psalms I quoted before, or the stories of Moses and David and the prophets and Jesus himself, may our hearts burn within us. May we know that the love of God is stronger than death, stronger than any virus, and it reaches into our lives wherever we are. We will get through these days and months with our God who is ever present. Amen.